What's going on everyone? Ninja here from NTP back again with another Naruto statue. Today we have Guy Sensei or Mike Guy and this is uh, probably my second favorite uh, like team leader if you want to think about it that way. Uh, he's he's kind of like the... hey let me put it this way. Guy is kind of like the comedic relief within the show. Like there's a lot of comedy based around him and then Rock Lee as you can see down there. Basically, both these guys are almost identical as far as how they look because you see they're both wearing like similar green jumpsuits and everything. So very similar uh, design to both these guys. They're not related, surprisingly. Like they have a very similar look and they have like the same thing going on with their hair and everything. They're basically exactly the same, but they're not related. So it's pretty strange. I don't know. Hard to, hard to say. Anyway, um... That, that's about it for this guy. He's just got a lot of funniness around him. He's very outgoing. And I'd say he's a lot of people's favorites. He's definitely... I like I like Guy a lot. He's, I, I like him a lot. I assume a lot of people like him a lot as well. I don't know... I think my TV made that noise if you heard it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyway. Um, but... Yeah. I guess it's really enough to say about him. Um... He, oh, I guess another little tidbit is he's always doing matches, like, face-offs with Kakashi, who's his rival. Like, they're both rivals here. So, good good place to put him is facing off in front of each other. So, I felt that was uh, pretty needed. Anyway, moving on from this now, moving on to the dimensions now. The legs here are 8 by 4 by 12 the torso is 8 by 4 by 12, and the arms here are attached to a line to the torso, and they are 4 by 4 by 12. And the head here is 8 by 8 by 8, with absolutely no hat effects anywhere. Totally, totally easy thing to do here. So, there we go. Really, really simple. And those dimensions are linked by width by height, and in the very end of this outro, like at the very end, I will have pictures in the plastic texture pack to just kind of make this easier because I might blow through this a little quickly and if I do then those pictures are there for you to pause the video and uh, have like nice little grid lines and everything of the statue so maybe it makes it a little bit easier to uh, make anyway let's go and get into the detail now he is very easy I should just tell you right off the bat is a lot of him is green and you'll just hear me tell you green he's got, actually got a lot of green on him so legs like <laughs> majority of a majority of its green and then what's not green is that like three or four layers of orange right there at the bottom. Actually, I, I think it's three layers. Um, and then his shoes there are blue. So blue skin showing on the shoes. And that is uh, birch wind planks. So birch wind planks, blue, orange, and green. Pretty simple. And really, his legs are so simple that there is literally no detail anywhere that wraps all the way around. You know, now that I think about it, I probably could have done orange lines like uh like i could have done orange lines of orange stained clay to make it look a little bit better instead of just making it so plain and i might do that like just do like a little line like this maybe like right here and do like orange stained clay there and orange stained clay there and maybe put them like side by side and do orange stained clay here and there so that's like a little bit more detail um but i kind of already made this and, doing, and I already took the pictures and everything like this. So it will remain this way, but I will actually probably change this personally because I'm looking at this now and it feels very plain and bland. So I might do that. So if you choose to do the same thing, put lines about like in this pattern all the way around his legs and everything and just fill them in with orange stain clay. I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to move on past this. Um, but that's also an option if you want to do that. <laughs> I'm just doing this on the fly, so you know what? If you want to add that, go ahead. Moving on to the front of the torso now, though. So yeah, so if you're not going to do that, just wrap all the colors all the way around with orange, green, and blue, which is something that anyone can really do. I didn't intend on that to rhyme, but there you go. Moving on to the front now, officially. So again, a lot of him is green. He has this green jumpsuit, so like all of his arms are basically entirely green, and the bottom of his waist and everything that's all green. Even the inside of his coat that's showing there, that's all green. Um, his vest coat thing is uh, green stained clay for the uh, darker outlining and lime stained clay for the really majority of it. And then in the very middle there, like on his stomach, you can see like where it's opening on his vest. 
um, is red and stone and gray. And what that is, it's just like that he has a belt that's showing that Rockley has, uh, if you can see it way down there, I'm not going to go down there, but he has a little belt on that has his little um, hidden leaf uh, thing on. So that's what that is. And then, of course, his skin is showing there with uh, the birch wind planks. So this is very similar to the uh, legs, is that the arms are literally just green all the way around. It's just this green and birch wind plank, like, outlining that just kind of wraps around his entire body. So really, really simple. Um, same thing with the other arm there, but uh, here's the back of the vest. It is very similar. If you made Kakashi, it's the exact same thing as Kakashi's. Uh, with the lime and green stained clay and then the red uh, like little plus looking symbol on the very back of it. That's supposed to be the hidden leaf symbol that's like a circle, but um, making circles in a game that's about cubes and squares is really hard, especially when you have a very small space, right? So that's about the best I could do for a circle. <laughs> but um, yep, then this arm is exactly the same as the other arm, just totally green and everything. So there is that. Moving on now to the face, we're just burning through this guy. So, skin, birchwind planks, his eyes are black, and the other half of his eyes are white, as well as his smile there, because obviously you have to have Guy Sensei smiling. Um, that is also white. And then his hair is black. His eyebrows, or his bushy brows, I guess, as you could call them, uh, those are blocks of coal. And then his hair, you know, black with uh, the white going around. And it kind of does this in a weird pattern. I think I just stuck to a really standard, yeah, I just did a standard, like, two-line thing all the way around his head. So, here's the this side of the head with the birch one planks and the black and everything. Here is this. And then we have uh, the back of it here now with just the lines of white and black. Really simple. Just all black and then, like, these lines of white. And then a very similar thing over here. So, yeah. We basically, just in the front, it's only one dot going across the top of his head. And then for the rest of it, it's just uh, like this all the way around. So there is that. And then you fill in the top of his head with black wool. And you are done with my guy or guy sensei. So that finishes up uh, team guy here. And... Uh, we will only have two more after this and we are done with the first half of the Naruto or I should say original Naruto uh, characters so That's it for this guys if you have any requests go and leave them in the comments. It could really be anything. I don't really care um, I guess don't request other Naruto characters because we've already done those, you know um, Or I've already made a bunch of them. So it, it probably isn't necessary but I guess if you do request an Arto character, it could maybe just come out quicker, right? Like the more requests it has to come out, I could just find a way to release it a little bit faster than other stuff. But yep. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.